have to do a quick turnaround. Um, but we don't really anticipate any failures along the way here. So, all right, our takeoff roll. Uh, let's uh, bring our throttles up to uh, forty percent of N one. And I have the sound turned off on this. And we're going to hit the toga button. And it's going to speed us through. And we're going to start taking off any minute now. Once you reach your initial V1 speed, you just want to gently pull up a little bit, bring yourself up to about uh, 10 degrees just so you don't have a tail strike, bring your gear up, Turn on your autopilot, and now the autopilot is flying us at a heading of 250. And our N1 speed is now increased by 20 knots to 146. And you want to retract your flaps on schedule. So let's go ahead and make this 210. And I'm just going to be retracting the flaps here. This is not really a tutorial on the takeoff procedure. I'm just trying to get us in the air so we can see what's going on. Okay, we just passed our kind of our, our, our marker in the sky here at or below 3000 and we're at 3000 so let's just assume that ATC clears us to go directly to LAX, which obviously is in the opposite direction. So they would actually have us change our heading to go this way. So we're just going to turn the turn the plane plane around. Let's just make it. Let's just make it a heading of 094 and they cleared us. Let's just pretend to uh, flight level 150. So I'm just going to change the altitude on the MCP to 150 so I can get up there. And what I'm going to do is hit level change increase our speed to about 230. This isn't exactly the 100% accurate way of doing it, but like I said, this is more of a FMC tutorial than anything. So we're going to be climbing to 15,000 feet at 230 knots. And if we look at our display again, you know, sure enough, um, there we are, we're turning around. Uh, LAX is right here and at some point in time ATC will go ahead and direct us uh, to go directly to our departure waypoint the first one obviously being if we look at our chart is kegs Uh, flying along, we're probably going to have to make a left hand turn here. Uh, I'm just going to turn to, oops, I'm going to turn to 240. So we're heading in that general direction. And this is going to take a little bit of time because we're not actually going all that fast here. So just bear with me a little bit. OK, 
Okay, now I, I paused the tutorial and now I picked up uh, roughly around this point, um, which is probably the point at which ATC will tell us to go directly to KEGS and then follow our flight plan. And KEGS is uh, located, let me just move this over right here. KEGS is located right there. Now there's a couple ways that we could do this uh, to go directly to KEGS. Um, we can change our heading indicator to kind of go to that point. Let me unpause this real quick. Sorry, this is actually kind of this is kind of messy because it's hard to do while you're flying, but uh, we can change our heading indicator to go directly to kegs. Um, but the easiest way to do that would be to let me just pause the sim one more time. The easiest way to do that would be to bring up the flight management computer and just tell it to go directly to kegs. And if we go back into our route page, I'm sorry, into our legs page, and we click on you know, take off speeds deleted. Let me just okay, click on kegs and then click on kegs again. And you'll notice that we now have a nice little direct path to kegs. If we want to go ahead and take that, which in ca this case we do. So back to the FMC and we go ahead and hit execute. And close out the FMC. I right, hold on, I got a billion and a half different windows open here. Sorry, this is a lot messier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we we told the FMC to take us directly to kegs. What we need to do, however, is we need to hit LNAV. And now the autopilot is going to fly us directly to the kegs intersection. The autopilot is now controlling the lateral navigation of the plane. And as you can see, it's slowly taking us there. And then it will continue on this way and get us to our next point. Let me just reach and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something here real quick. I know this is this is done in real time so it's so it's a little messy. My apologies. Just try to try to try to follow along here. Okay, it's turning us over to the right. And now we reached kegs. So let me close that down real quick and let me put this back. I don't want to center it anymore. Alright, there we are. Okay. Now our next point, even though you can't see it because I'm on the five nautical mile setting, our next point is Coop. And the reason I know that is because it tells me uh, right in the upper right hand corner that Coop is going to be our next waypoint and it's uh, about 9.2 nautical miles away. Now at this point we're at flight level 150. However now ATC has gone ahead and cleared us to go to flight level 290. And what we need to do is we need to hit VNAV and if we do that you'll notice that an FMC message indicator comes up and that's telling us that well, all right well there's a problem so let's go ahead and bring up the FMC and what's the problem well the problem is that we should be going to flight level 290 but we can't because our uh, 